I was definitely a lot more normal back then and a lot more successful too. I had graduated um, from Columbia University with a master's in electrical engineering. I was working at Bell Labs doing uh, top secret research for the government in the field of network security. And I was paid a lot, a lot more than most people my age. And you know, all of this despite being the only female in the department and only one of two minorities. And I was doing cutting edge research, I was respected for my work and rewarded very well. I had a you know, lovely place, a loft apartment in Manhattan, a very good social life, I'd work out, everything seemed really great. And then one day I just gave it all up. I left my job, I left my apartment, I left my friends, and I went to India. And it seems all of a sudden, and yet it wasn't. It had been building up in me for many years. I remember going to work, coming back, doing these things, but yet feeling very unsatisfied. Uh, many mornings waking up and actually not knowing why I should get out of bed. Uh, I remember reading a lot of books, um, different self-help Buddhism books, things like that. I was just searching. I was not satisfied. And so finally one day I had, uh, coming out of yoga class, a sensation came over me and I just stood there and everything faded around me. And I was just taking in this feeling that I had never felt. I was content, satisfied, grounded. In that moment is when I just got in touch with a new way of being, like a different, a deeper part of me, in fact. And from there, I knew that there was definitely more to life. Whatever I had been searching for, I knew it was out there somewhere. So that's when I actually, uh, and gave up my life, yeah, my apartment, my job, my friends, everything, and just went to India to start all over with just yoga as, as a base. And since then, exploration has taken me into dance, into acting, art therapy, theater, all kinds of stuff, a nonprofit. Um, it's been a very long, uh, windy, scenic <laughs> road since then. And actually, I'm probably the opposite of the conventional definition of success right now. I, I don't have a steady job, I'm not married, I don't have kids, I don't have a lot of money, I don't have a predictable, safe life, a uh, successful life. But I am much happier, for sure, than I was then. Uh, and I know why I get up in the morning. And whether that works out the way I envision it or not, doesn't actually matter because I'm happy today. I, I have had meaning when I wake up. I have purpose when I wake up. And, you know, I, that's, yeah, <laughs> wonderful. Um, so yeah, I have found out, um, you know, it's, it's, it's dangerous. And we, uh, many of us fall into that uh, trap of going after this successful life where you know you have the right job, the money, and everything seems just right, and you're doing really well, but it's not what you passionately want. It's much better, I have discovered, to be quote-unquote unsuccessful at going after something that really means something to you. And I think, I think if all of us were to do that, many of the problems we see today wouldn't exist, you know, if we all didn't kind of just go through life checking box but instead tried to find our place in the world and 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 contributed from that place um, yeah I think everything starts from there